Hello everyone, welcome to VA Tech Talks. I'm going to create a playlist for data view interview questions. So this is a playlist I'm going to create for Millsoft developers. This may help you for your interviews. These questions are received from my students. Okay. As of now, we are going to discuss these four questions. If you are attending any interviews and if you face any different questions, please send me an email or paste in a comment section. I'll happy to assist you for the same. Okay, let, let's get started for today's data view interview questions. So whenever the problems comes, first you have to understand the question. Okay. What is the first question? How to find the even numbers from an array? See, they have already given an array. We need to find an even numbers. Okay. We'll solve one by one. Let's go to DataWave Playground. So this is an array, okay? So here we do have numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. So now if you want to print same thing, so you know already, so just we need to print payload. So here, how to find only even numbers, okay? So what we need to do? So before that, before that, I'll tell you how to identify whether the given number is even or not, so that you have to understand first. We'll consider as six, suppose. So is there any number? So what you need to you need to multiply with, sorry, you need to divide, okay? You need to divide by two. You need to divide by two. So here, two, three is a six, correct? So here, there are two values it will come. So even you have studied in mathematics, okay? So this part, we are going to call it as by or quotient, correct? Quotient. This we will call it as normally percentage. The same thing we can call it as mod or reminder value, okay? Reminder. So what is the reminder here? So when the reminder is zero, so that means that is even number. Okay, let's consider there is a five, two, two is a four. What is the reminder now? One. So if the reminder value is one means, okay, so that is odd number. Okay, forget about quotient, but we need to divide by with always if you want to find any odd number or even number so this is the formula okay let's get started now so how to solve here let me clear the drawing payload here we need to filter See, just type filter so item and index will come now in the item what is the value it contains? It contains first time one, two, three, four. It will come one by one. Okay, now item mod two equal to equal to zero. Correct. But you need to keep braces here. See, now we are getting, now we are getting two, 4, 
six. Okay. So this is for even numbers. Suppose you want to print odd numbers, just to change one, one, three, five, seven, nine. Yeah, that's for first question. How to find the even numbers from an array? Okay. Let me comment about this now. We'll go for second one. How to swap first name and last name from a string? Okay. String name, it is called VATEC talks. You can consider this one. String name, right? Okay. Where? I'll keep it as name only. Name equal to VA TikToks. Okay, if we print name, so we'll get the entire name. But what is the expected expected outcome? So first you need to print talks, then VA tech. So that is a question. Okay, that's a question. We need to swap it. So this one, you have to swap here. This one, you have to swap here. That is a question, okay? Try to understand the question first. Okay, now, what we need to do? Let me clear this. So name, so you can use first split by spaces. So there is a space, right? We take space talks. Now it will store into an array. So the same value, what you can do is you can keep it into another variable where I'll keep it as swap only or our names, I'll keep it, our names. So here, from here, you can copy or cut it because you're declaring the variable, right? So just you can paste it here. Now, you can take the names variable. If you print this one, you'll get like this. So what we need to do, so this is like, 0th index. This one is first index, right? First to print the first index, next print the 0th index. So that our problem will get resolved. Num1. The talks came. Do plus plus names of 0. Now we need a space here. So what you can do, double quotes, give one space and plus. Plus, plus, okay. So this is our expectation, okay? How to swap first name and last name from a string. Okay, this is also done. Let me comment out this. Now, how to generate numbers from 1 to 100? So any numbers, how to generate? Okay. So that's very simple. You can declare variable here where number equal to see use the Arabraces our list, okay? We can call it as one, one to hundred, okay? So one to hundred. Now what you need to do? Just print the number. See here. So you are getting inside the list again. Okay, I don't want to keep it in a list. What you can do, I don't want to keep one more list. Just 
remove that places. Okay, now we can see 1 to 100. Now I'll go with 1 to 10 so that you can easily understand. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I want to print 1 to 20. That is up to you. Okay. So this is one question. So how to generate numbers from 1 to 100? It's very simple. Okay. Now, in order to generate, okay, see, generate even numbers or odd numbers, 50 to 100. Okay, 50 to 100. See, the same question, we can use it, okay? So now, it is similar to first question. And second, see, first question is related to fourth question. Now, the third question, we are going to use it in our fourth question. Well, there is an interrelation, okay? Now, we'll see. Generate even numbers. Okay, generate even numbers. Or odd numbers. Okay, any one question, okay? Generate even numbers, 50 to 100. So, first step, what you need to do? So, here, just you can keep 50, 50 to 100. Correct. See, 50 to 100. The numbers are printing. Now, number filter okay filter you can use the same logic okay you can use the same logic item okay i want only item from here so no need to bother about the index Okay, item. Item mod to equal to equal to zero. Just use the brackets here. One more bracket. It is required. Okay, now we can answer. Fifty, fifty-two. 54, 56, 58, 60. So our problem is solved. Okay. Our problem is solved. I think there is one more option. So normally, the mod symbol is this one. Okay. So this one is not working for some test. Okay. It's not working. Okay. You can use MOD. Okay. You can use MOD mod. But try to understand. So you have to keep the brackets, okay? Brackets here. Otherwise, you will get the error. Now the same thing, 50 to 100. See, this is like generating. See, earlier first one is, so they have already given the payload. We are generating the, I mean, we are finding the even numbers, okay? From the given payload, but here, the question is different. Generate 50 to 100 in between. Okay, generate numbers 50 to 100 in between. I want to identify either odd numbers or even numbers. Now it's an odd numbers. Correct? If we change it to one, if we change it to zero, it is even numbers. Yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, I mean, it's like in the data view with the different questions, please send an email to me or paste it in a comment section. I'll happy to assist you. Thanks for watching this. Happy learning.